Hello to everyone, Tomato Play Games here. It has been quite a while, but we are finally back. Currently, I'm on my soon to be Tola Island, and the reason why it's empty is because I reset it again, just because the proportion of the toilet didn't look quite right. So, what I will be doing is I'll be live streaming my toilet belt throughout the next couple weeks, so you can watch me fail again or succeed. But in today's video, we will be going over the new sushi update in Roblox Island. I will show you guys how to get it as well as how to get all the ingredients. So the first thing you will need to do is to craft a cutting table. And you can find it in a tier 2 workbench or above. And it requires 50 pine wood and 50 iron. Once we craft it, go inside the cutting table and we can see that you can use it to cut up different type of fishes including a new fish, the tuna. Next, go to your cooking table and scroll to the very bottom and you'll see the new sushi items. All of them requires you to have rice and all of them except for the Thai nigiri require you to have seaweed. Now, I will show you guys how to get both the rice and the seaweed. To get the rice, all you need to do is talk to the seed merchant Cletus in the hub and in order to buy the rice, your farming level needs to be at least level 39 and it will cost you 3300 coins to buy one rice seed. And now I will show you guys how to get the seaweed. It is actually really simple to get it. The way you get seaweed seed is by fishing. The rarity of seaweed seed is actually really really high. It took me just over an hour of fishing to get a single seaweed seed. And on the disco trading right now, it is currently going for at least 5 million coins. And now that we have all the ingredients, let's go back to our island and I will show you guys how to craft the sushi items. Another thing you will need to craft is the planter and you can make it from your tier 2 workbench. And with the planter, you will be able to plant both your rice seed and seaweed seeds. And once they're fully grown, just harvest them and plant them once more. And now that we have both our rice and seaweed, go into your cutting table, chop your fish of choice, then go to your cooking table. And besides the nigiri, you will need to craft a sushi roll. The sushi roll will require 5 seaweed and 10 rice. Each seaweed harvest will get you about 3 seaweed, so you will most likely need to plant it more than once. And now that we have our sushi roll, rice, and chopped fish, go to any of the sushi roll and we can craft it. One important new thing in this update is some of the cooked food will actually give you bonuses. So all the sushi rolls will give you a bonus like the dragon roll will give you additional 25% reward luck in fighting mobs. And the tuna roll will give you an additional 5% coin when you sell to the merchant. And even some of the other foods like roasted honey carrots will give you 50% chance of getting coins from mobs. And the lemon pop will give you additional 20% reward luck when mining. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. And I'll be live streaming my new toilet belt throughout the next couple of weeks. So feel free to join if you have the time. And feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. And yeah, that'll be it for me for today. Peace out everyone.